and welcome to Thyrus Web Development Tips and Tutorials. Tailwind CSS is being adopted by a lot of developers today starting from newbies to highly experienced. The official website documentation is very good to get started with installation and setup of Tailwind CSS. However, if you are very new to web development and you don't use any of these frameworks or libraries mentioned here and don't know what is post CSS or how to use this documentation might be a little hard for you to follow. So if you quickly want a ready setup for trying out Tailwind CSS for simple small projects or static websites, here is a GitHub repository created by me. I will show you how to set up your project using the starter kit. First, go to this link which I have mentioned in the description below. Click here and copy this link to clone this repository. This is copied to our clipboard now. I have Mac, so I will open Terminal. If you're using Windows, you can open Command Prompt. Let me CD into Desktop. And now I will say I have Git installed. So if you don't have that, you might want to, instead of cloning this, you might want to just download the zip file and unzip it. But if you're familiar with Git, you can start with this. So say git clone, paste the link that you copied and paste the name of your project. So I will just say tailwind project. So this will create a new folder for us, tailwind project and download all the required files. Now let me cd into tailwind project and let's see what this directory has. So this is what it has now. I will open this folder with Visual Studio Code. That's a recommended code editor if you're using Tailwind CSS because it has the IntelliSense extensions that helps you autocomplete. So let me open this in Visual Studio Code. If you look at the getting started instructions, we are done with the first step. We have cloned the repository, and we have opened the project in Visual Studio Code. Now next, open a new terminal within VS Code. So terminal, new terminal. And then if you don't have NPM, you need to download and install NPM. Here's a quick beginner's guide to do that. You don't have to learn much about it right away if you don't know, but you definitely need it installed. So come here and follow the steps, install NPM, and once you're done installing npm, open your terminal or command prompt and type npm dash dash version. If you see a number here, that means npm is successfully installed. Once that is done, initialize the project with defaults using npm. So npm init minus y. This just initializes the project and creates a package.json file. And now you'll see that we have a dependency Tailwind CSS in our project. How do we install all the dependencies? If you look at the next step, it says npm install. That's it. So let's do npm install. This will install all the required dependencies. And then we just need to build using npm run build once. npm run build, it will execute this build script. And now in your public folder, you already have an index.html that is linked to the styles.css. But whatever edits you need to make, let's say you want to add some custom CSS, don't add it here. You have to add it in the styles.css that is within the source folder because the styles.css within the public folder is generated using tailwind so wherever whenever you want to add custom css this is the place to add it and now since we have built it if i open this in the browser that's it if you're able to see this beautiful gradient on this text, Tailwind CSS is successfully installed and set up. So now you can go on, go ahead and add as many HTML files you need in this public folder, link it to styles.css and add custom CSS here. 
we also have the tailwind.config.js so if you want to configure customize tailwind you can do that here and we also have purge css enabled so just before pushing this code to production so here i also have optimized for production so just before pushing your code to production you just need to do npm run prod instead of npm run build so what it does is currently our styles.css is 3.74 mb for just that one h1 we need to remove all the unused styles using purge css that's why we can just do npm run prod and tailwind takes care of it by reducing the file size to now just 11.3 kb that's it so clone this repository and have fun with tailwind css thank you for watching hit a like and share this video ahead if you enjoyed watching this don't forget to subscribe below and turn on the notifications so you won't miss a single video from tyrus